Hello and welcome back. Today in this video you will learn how to create a newcomer's categories grid inside the free version of Elementor. So as you know in the pro version of Elementor we can easily create a category grid for our commerce products. But if you don't have Elementor Pro and you need a category grid for your website then this video is for you. And using this simple free plugin you can also create a product list, a product grid or a category grid for your commerce product. And before using this plugin make sure you have a WordPress website with WooCommerce like this one. If you don't have any then you can watch my previous video to create a website like this one. And obviously you must have some products and categories inside your WordPress dashboard. Because we will just drag a widget to our Elementor page builder and that will create our categories which we have inside our dashboard. So let's see how we can create a WooCommerce product categories grid. So for that we will use this plugin which is Jet Widgets for Elementor and WooCommerce. This is everything for WooCommerce from product page template to special widgets. Now this is a free plugin that you can install in this is by Croco Block. To install this plugin just copy its name. I'll provide a link in the description. Then go to your dashboard and add this as a plugin. So search for that plugin and you will get this plugin just install and activate this now to use this we will use one of our previous page that we used in our last video so let's go to pages and uh, i have created this page for elementor toggle in which we created this toggle button so if you need this then you can watch my previous video and to create the categories then you can search for that widget and you will see this O categories grid just drag this over here and you will see all the categories this is the count of the products the name of the categories and the images so let's go to our dashboard and here if i go to categories then as you can see i have these categories which are showing over here now this is the preset one if you want to change the style then you can click here you can choose the second one and basically this will display the name or the image let's go to three and you can notice the style is changing and the last one is preset five which look like this so you can use any of these styles you can change the number of columns and uh, this is the gap between the column and the gap between the rows so if you want to display multiple categories then this will display some gaps between the rows this is the category number so how much categories you want to display i'll display five for example then as you can see we got five categories this one don't have image so that is why it is showing over here and uh, hide empty categories so if a category don't have any products then this will hide that for example let's increase this so as you can see we don't have any product in uncategorized so if i want to hide this then i'll just simply enable this and this will hide the empty category you can also hide the subcategories and you can hide and categorize that we just hide. This will show all or you can show only certain categories, categories by IDs if you want to display specific categories or categories which you can select with a name. So let's show all. This is the order and order by name and you can customize these settings also. This is the featured image so you can change its size which means the size for this image this is the category title so if you want to hide the title you can disable this this is the product count i can hide this like this and uh, the product count okay description of false so if you want to display the description of categories you can enable this and uh, trim after this is also for the description which we don't have Okay, you can also make this a carousel. So if I go to carousel, I can enable this. Then this will be like a slider. And 
and uh, these are the arrows and uh, you can change the arrows if you want and I'm not going in much detail because these are very simple and you can enable and disable options according to need you can uh, set auto play the auto play speed and so on and if you want to make further changes to the style you can go to the style tab and here you can change setting for the columns category items content title and so on for example let's change the title color so I'll click on title and uh, change its color to red as you can notice and uh, category thumbnail so this will be the size of the image the background color of the image and so on category in an hour if you want to make changes to the category when someone hover mouse over there then you can do the settings according to that for example let's change its color to black you can notice the color is changing on hour and uh, you can change all of the settings according to your need so that is how you can create a simple carousel or you can create a grid for your commerce categories one more thing is if i search for categories then you can notice another widget here this is by another plugin which is called HD Mega add-ons you can also use this for creating categories grid let me show you very quickly just drag this so as you can see I got my categories let's uh, change its order to ascending just to show the images and uh, this is also another cool plugin which I'll show you later and uh, you can hide empty categories you can go to style tab and you can customize the category area title and image and that is very simple as well so if you need this plugin then you can search for this which is HD Mega add-ons and this is the plugin that we used in our last video for creating the read more button also this one so you can use both of these plugins so you can use both of these plugins for creating WooCommerce category grid and in this plugin you can also create the WooCommerce category slider. So I hope the video will help you. If you have any questions you can ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next.